Good morning. I'm first alert meteorologist Gary Beaton. Well, we now have the 11 a.m. advisory in for the National Hurricane Center, and yet again, we have an increase of wind speeds, maximum sustained winds as it's making landfall right now in the Abacos of the Bahamas. 180 miles per hour. This category five extremely dangerous hurricane and that storm still several days away from impacting our area. So be calm because now is the time to just prepare for anything that might come our way. You know, first and foremost, you know that the, the one thing we want to make sure is that is everyone is safe. Okay, that's the first thing. You know, we talk about first is the safety for everyone. We're talking about coaches, support staff, players, family. first, making sure you're safe, all that stuff, all right, and then just making sure in the back end, all right, that we're prepared because the league doesn't really care about us being evacuated. We're playing. Week one was far from ordinary. The Jaguars lost two days of game prep as Hurricane Dorian passed just off the coast of Jacksonville. But in the NFL, Sunday waits for no one. hundred years of NFL football, 500 Jaguars games, and the reigning NFL MVP in town as well. Now we're counting. That's what it's all about. 2019 is going to be a special year. Start to the decade. Josh Lambeau approaches, puts the foot to it, and we are underway. And we got to get a three and out right here. Third and three from the 32-yard line, first possession of the game. Mahomes looks, fires it downfield, caught. That is Sammy Watkins into the open field. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Sammy Watkins is going to score the touchdown. It is a 68-yard touchdown, and the Chiefs strike first and very, very quickly. So here come the Jags. Nick Foles plays for the first time for the Jaguars, over 11,000 yards in his NFL career. Chiefs showing blitz here. Foles look, fires deep toward the end zone. He wants DJ Chark in the corner of the end zone. Caught, touchdown Jacksonville, DJ Chark. There's a shark attack in the end zone, and Jacksonville has scored. Yes! Hey, we got to pick it up even more now, all right? A story developing. Nick Foles was taken to the locker room after throwing the touchdown pass. It appears right now that it is either the left arm or left shoulder. Gardner Minshew as well taking snaps right now on the sideline. Let's go. Oh, one play at a time. One play at a time, baby. Let's go. On comes the rookie, Gardner Minshew. Second down and five from the 15-yard line. Rolling to his left, still looking downfield. Now fires toward the end zone. D.D. Westbrook, did he get in the end zone? Yes, he did. Touchdown. D.D. for the TD. Touchdown, Jacksonville. What a great play by Gardner Minshew. Run the ball, fellas. Run the fight. Where is he fighting? Gardner Minshew, 21 out of 24 for 254 yards. Shotgun for the rookie. Looks, fires to the right side. Little back shoulder throw. Caught by Conley into the end zone. That is a touchdown. What a terrific throw. Back shoulder throw from Minshew to Conley for the touchdown. Still, you know, grateful I get to, you know, be a part of this team. Obviously, I'll, you know, have surgery. Um, you know, tomorrow, get this thing rolling and, you know, trust the trust good Lord for, you know, healing and be ready to roll when I am. This team might come after us, all right, with Gardner being the quarterback. We just got to be ready for that, all right? We've got to be ready for that pressure. There's a saying in pro football, next man up. Rookie quarterback Gardner Minshew II is that man. I was joking out there, I was like, dang, I've been long, here longer than anybody right there. Like, that's, that's kind of crazy. Uh, like, they're asking me questions. I'm like, golly. Hello? There's Gardner there. Yes, it is. Gardner, Dave Caldwell with the Jacksonville Jaguars. How you doing? Dave, I'm great. How you doing? You ready to move back east? 
Hell yeah, let's do it. All right, buddy. You, you, you made a great impression on us in the uh, at the combine, and you've had a hell of a year. And bring that uh, energy and that preparation to us as our uh, as vying for our backup quarterback spot. Can you do that? I got you, absolutely, yes, sir. Minshew answered the call in Week One, replacing Nick Foles. His performance created hope for Jacksonville. You have your own hype video out already after one after one like three quarters of a game. That is a fine. Yeah, first song of the mustache, what'd you think? Yeah. What's mustache was right? terrible. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I looked at it. Bandana. Bandana I can go with. Okay. You know, I can use it pretty styly. Uh, the mustache, no way. We used to be in the locker room stretching in the, in the jock strap. You know what I mean? So I'm like, you know what I mean? He must think, he must think we're still in college. That's, that's some college things, you know what I mean? But whatever make him throw 88%, he can have it. Who are you, man? 13X! 13X! Oh, let's have a great day. Let's get these guys going. Hey, 13X. Minshew Mania has taken off. Offensive coordinator John DeFilippo isn't buying the hype yet. Here we go. He has to get the rookie ready for his first NFL start. Nice reset there, bro. Nice reset. There. Well done. Well done. Right, so I want you to pull up like you get pulled up quick and rip the over. Line. That's possible. It can be an up and over right there all the way, Gardner. Good. Whoever is on our team, whoever's on their team, that's the expectation level, is, to, is to, to play well enough to go win a football game. Tempo at three quarters speed, then stutter him. Try to get him to come at you. I know you got one more in you. Yeah. All right, I got one more in you. It's going to be a touchdown if we get this right. Here we go. Make sure we know all the little details, all those little things, okay, that we talk about in this game plan. All right, going into a hostile environment, high level of focus, get ourselves ready to go. The Jags take to the road for the first time and do so in the division and with a brand new starting quarterback. Go, go, go. 60 minutes, man. Talk is cheap. Let's not talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's oh, go, go, man. Let's go. Hey, Jags, on me, Jags. On three, one, two, three. Jags. The shotgun for Deshaun Watson. He drops the throw. Jags blitz. I mean, it's an all out blitz. They're going to get there. I mean, they sent the house that time. Hayden finished him off deep in. Texans territory at the 25 yard line. Appreciate y'all, man. Dropping the throw is Minshew. He's going to get hit. The ball comes out. The ball came out. And the Texans have it. Of course, Watt falls on it, and it'll be the Texans ball deep in Jaguars territory after the Gardner Minshew fumble. Fourth and about a yard and a half from outside of the two. Shotgun for Watson, here we go. Play fake, he rolls to the right. He rolls, he's gonna run it. He is into the end zone for the touchdown. He broke a tackle. Watson ran it in on a rollout. And the Texans extend the lead here at NRG Stadium. Minshew throws it out of the backfield again to Fournette, to the 30 yard line. Got by one tackler, carried one with him. Nice job by Leonard Fournette. Down to the 20-yard line and another first down for Jacksonville. On will come Josh Lambeau, I believe, to try and cut this to a one-possession game. Good snap and hold, Cook gets it down. Lambeau knocks it right through there and it is now a one-possession game. Texans 13, Jaguars six. We got a right reward right here, let's go. Fourth and 10 from the 31. Rolling right as Minshew, pointing downfield. Now he's going to run for it. To the 20. First down and more. Slides inside the 15-yard line. What a play by the rookie. It's going to be a first down at the 13-yard line of the Houston Texans. How about the moxie of the rookie? Let's go! 36 seconds to play. Looking, still looking, scrambling. Fires to the back of the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown in the back of the end zone to DJ Chark. Ah! 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 We about to win. Let's go. We about to win. The Jaguars are going to go for the win here from the two yard line. They are going for two. Hand off to Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette, no signal yet. Did not get there. They ran an inside handoff to Leonard Fournette on the two-point conversion, and he did not get there. Tackled at about the half-yard line. You know, had the right look. Leonard was close out on the field. I thought he got it, um, you know, but 
Uh, that, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, you know, uh, I bet you know ten times out of ten for him right there to get in there. Scott, rarely do you have one of the top five players in the NFL, regardless of position, request a trade or even be available in any sense. And that is exactly what is happening for the Jacksonville Jaguars and Pro Bowl cornerback Jalen Ramsey. Sources say that he has asked the Jaguars to trade him. I don't really want it to be a distraction for my teammates getting ready for a game on Thursday. Uh, and right now I'm still a part of the Jacksonville Jaguars and I'm you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. All I care about is winning, man. Everybody know that. I want to win. Um, straight up. He is going to be on the field, Doug Marone says, this evening. What's your reaction to one of your franchise players, a guy whose face is on a banner outside the stadium here, asking to be traded? Well, uh, this is a team sport. And I think, uh, you know, I am very sensitive to individual needs. But, you know, we have to do the right thing for the team. And the right thing for the team, Doug Marone says, is have him on the field this evening. He says he wants to play. Jalen Ramsey says he has nothing against the fans here in Jacksonville. He loves the fans. He said he wouldn't have it any other way. Start with uh, the Jaguars. They came this close to winning last week. They're 0 and 2. They've got all the Jalen Ramsey drama going on around this team, but they've got this rookie quarterback who is already a superstar in this league somehow, at least in this town of Jacksonville. They love him, Gardner Minshew. Can't wait to watch him play. After a tumultuous week off the field, it's time for football under the lights against the most familiar of division rivals. It's Jags and Titans in prime time. Let's go, rock out on three. One, two, three, Here we go, there you go. Fourth down, and a punt from Logan Cook. Penalty flag flies as Adoree Jackson has trouble. Ball is out. And Jacksonville has it near the six as Leon Jacobs comes away with a fumble recovery. But the Jags have a first down now at the seven of Tennessee. Eye formation. Under center is Minshew. Play fake. Looking. Goes toward the end zone. There's James O'Shaughnessy. Touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown pass from Minshew to O'Shaughnessy. And Jacksonville strikes first but a Thursday night. Here's one for the end zone. Chark, he's got it. Touchdown, what a throw. And the legend has grown a little bit more. If you're a Jags fan, you better get your popcorn ready because this guy's something. Shotgun for Mariota. Drops the throw, it's a blitz. He is going to get hit and he is going to get sacked. Clayus Campbell has gotten off the ball so fast on that play that he is in Mariota's face immediately, and Mariota doesn't even have a chance to get rid of that ball. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Fourth and six from the 11 on Jacksonville. Shotgun trips left. Four-man front for the Jags. They send four. They're going to get to him and sack him. Calais Campbell got him again. Calais is a man possessed today. Another sack for Calais, and the Jags take over on down. Why, that's his second one of the game, and this one's certainly bigger because it's on fourth down, and it keeps the Tennessee Titans off of the scoreboard. 17 zip. Jacksonville leads it, so Tennessee in a hurry. Four man rush as he drops the throw. Moves around in the pocket, gonna get hit, gonna get sacked again. Who else? Calais Campbell helped out by Josh Allen. A monster game for Calais. Uh, Calais is just dominating every player he lines up against. Well, that's six sacks in the night for Jacksonville. You know what time it is! You know what time it is! You ain't told you! Mariota is sacked yet again. Dewan Smoot is the first one there, and that is nine sacks for this Jacksonville defense. What a night as they get back to their Saxonville ways. 
Let's go, baby. Sassy Bill's back, baby. I thought we was gone. We back. Let's go. And that will do it. This one belongs to Duval. Jacksonville wins it 20 to 7 over the Tennessee Titans. Hey, we just get started. We just get started. Come on. We're going for some Hey, let me get a Uwe on three. Hey, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jacksonville Jaguars starting quarterback coming off his first professional victory Thursday night over Tennessee, Gardner Minshew, the second. Going back home, man, I, and I do mean I was there for six months, but that's home to me. You know, so get back, all this, see all the people that made last year so special. It was a blast. I think one of the things you want a quarterback is a guy that can lead people, um, you know, elevate people around them, you know, so that's, that's one thing I try to do on the field, um, and it's awesome to see, you know, first at Wazoo, how the community kind of wrapped around our team, and now in Jacksonville, how the community is getting behind us and um, is going to help us do great things. While the rookie quarterback enjoyed his time in the spotlight across the country, the oldest Jaguar has to get his body ready for the beating it takes on Sundays. I was surprised how, how, good, how you know, fresh my legs felt. Uh, you know, I would feel as good as I could, you know, because I really wanted to, you know, we, especially being the Titans, we wanted to get the breaks up those guys. You know, they kind of talked a lot of trash about owning us the last couple of years. Quick setup and throw, and no throw is made as there's the first of the year for Campbell. And he got through in a flash. Every year you get a little wiser. So, uh, you know, I mean, my rookie year, I did, I did, I sent the chiropractor like once a week my rookie year, and I went to the massage probably twice a week my rookie year. So I was doing stuff, uh, but it's really because older players are doing it. So I was kind of just following, you know, uh, what the older players are doing. It was yes, a great you know. game. It was. How did you feel? They I were talking great. about you after, and me and them were like, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> this was very exciting. Yeah, no, I was the. Uh, the most explosive I've felt in a few years. Just got it away again and a sack. And guess who? Calais Campbell. I spend like just from the people that come and work on my body about $100,000 a year. But it really, if you factor in some of the other stuff, you know, it's, it's really like, it's more than that. You know, it's probably like 150000 I mean, I'm trying to figure out what it's going to be this year. It's going to be like close to 150000 it's a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things, though, I mean, if I can play an extra year or two because of it, then I'm making that money back and then some, you know. So, uh, you know, it's a great investment. And that's what I try to tell the young guys that uh, treat your body as an investment because this is how you make your money. And then just slouch back a little bit more because he has to get Bridget sized. Good. All right, nice big breath in. Can I have some more? Good. Love it. There it is. The side that you fixed last time doesn't bother as much as more the inside now. Great. Okay, that's a good change. Yeah. You know, I used to say I wouldn't play 15 years. And you know, I didn't realize that 12 was going to feel like this, so, you know. But I feel pretty good. I, I, um, I take it one year at a time, you know what I mean? I, 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 will hope, I hope to be playing again next year, but at the same time, like, I mean, who knows, you know, I'm trying to make this year the best year it can be. Looking good? Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. All right, you. you ready to win again? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going home. This is home this week, so oh, yeah. Yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, they'll be yelling at the television. <laughs> Got to do a good job on offense, protecting the football, all right? And defensively, we just got to keep going, all right? We can't get frustrated. That ball's out, you know what I'm saying? That ball's getting tipped. We're touching it in the back end, all right? We're knocking it out in the front end. They'll start coming. The backdrop is the Rocky Mountain, and the Jaguars, sky high after last week's win, are now a mile high as they try to make it two in a row. Big story all week in Jacksonville. Jalen Ramsey did not practice for a variety of reasons, and he is inactive today, not playing. It's the first time he's missed a game in his career. Yeah, and I'm not going to let that Jalen drama ruin my Minshew mania here at Mile High. Well, I love Minshew mania as much as anybody else, but if this team doesn't start running the ball, the mania is going to be out. Fifteen of twenty-five for 197 yards on the day is Flacco. Empty backfield here. Drops to throw. 
Flacco shows a little crossing round. It's picked off. Picked off and running it back. Picked off and running it back is Ronnie Harrison. Stays on his feet. Still on his feet to the 45-yard line. He's got it into Denver territory. Still running. A terrific play by the safety Ronnie Harrison with 49 seconds to play in the half. That was just an overthrow by Joe Flacco. He clearly misses the target and a nice adjustment by Ronnie Harrison of playing the ball and not the receiver on that overthrow to Emmanuel Sanders. Hey, we needed that one, boy. It's a hell of a two-minute drill. We got to keep that thing rolling. Lambo on to attempt a 40-yard field goal attempt from the left hash. Logan gets it down. Josh kicks it up, and the field goal is good. We played 30 minutes. Denver 17, Jacksonville 6. This first drive for the offense is critical to how the rest of this game goes, in my opinion. Let's get something now. Let's go. Third and 14. They have not converted a third down today in seven tries. Got to get this to the 29-yard line. Dropping is Minshew. Gets away from trouble, rolling to his right, still looking downfield, pointing downfield, looking, looking. Now he fires downfield. That ball caught by Keelan Cole. That'll be a first down. Minshew did a terrific job keeping it alive. My goodness. How did he not go down, first of all? There's all kinds of rush. People are collapsing in him. He's spinning. He's falling. And then he starts pointing people down the field. No one's doing what he wants to do. But Keelan Cole, for his first catch of 2019, sprint to the middle. Minshew hits him. What a play. Let's go, O's. Your touchdown, baby. Minshew hanging in there. Stays on his feet again, dancing around. Dodging tackles. Now throws end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Minshew magic. He dodged about five guys in the pocket to make that completion to Armstead. Are you kidding me? By the way, the entire time he was doing that, did you guys notice the presence of understanding where the line of scrimmage was and stepping back to get making sure he's behind it? I mean, the kid's presence is unbelievable. Fournette on first down, has some room to run. Fournette into the open field, stays on his feet at the 30. Fournette at midfield, looking for blockers. Fournette still going at the 30. And Duke Dawson, can he get him down? He can. Fournette finally taken down inside the 15. An 81 yard run. Minshew wide open over the middle. O'Shaughnessy stretches, lunges, touchdown. Minshew fakes a throw to the outside, to the left to Diddy Westbrook, comes back, fakes a throw to the right outside to Leonard Fournette, and then comes back to the middle and hits O'Shaughnessy on a seam route. Great job. Yeah, right. the ball. Okay, okay. First down at the eight of Jacksonville. Dropping the throw again is Flacco. Fires toward the end zone. Touchdown. And the Broncos very quickly have taken the lead. The good thing is there's still 1.32 to play. Hey, we got a lot of time now. All right, we got plenty of time. Let's go. They left Gardner Minshew some time here. Minute 32. You only need a field goal. Minshew looking for Westbrook. He's got him, and he stays in bounds. Spinning his way to the 30 and still going. And finally out of bounds at the 26. I want to run it. I want to set it up on the left hash. No holding. Two hands. Lambo's 9 of 9 on the year. He's 3 of 3 today. A 33 yarder from just inside the left hash for Lambo. Here we go. <laughs> Cook gets it down. Lambo kicks it up. And the field goal is good. The field goal is good, and Jacksonville has beaten the Denver Broncos 26 to 24 at Mile High Stadium. This one belongs to Duval. Next time in the trenches, a silver season rivalry renewed in the Queen City. The Jaguars return home for a battle of the backups. All that and more. In the Trenches is presented by Gatorade.